Hey you guys, it's me, Chocolate China. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been in, um, since I posted a video. Um, but I decided to go ahead and jump on the bandwagon for the latest craze. Um, which is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, I'm going to work backwards. Um, I'm going to start with episode 2 since that's the last one that I have seen. And then I'll go back and do episode 1. Um, episode 2. Okay, so I guess the, the plot thickens basically. Um, the biggest thing for me is Jocelyn. Okay, like, are we really supposed to believe that that's a female? I mean, really. Like, really? That's, that's a do all the way from the rooter to the tutor, as we say down in the country. Um, yeah, that's a man. Um, yeah, there's really no, nothing really else to say about that. That's a man, so a man can't be pregnant so I don't know how she worked that out I don't I don't know and I, I, I hate to say she I'm just gonna say shim she and him put together because that's what that is a shim so shim uh, walks into I guess the the studio I guess and number one why are you taking a pregnancy test in like a public restroom why can you do that at home? Um, but anyways, um, so she takes the test in the bathroom. Shim, take the test in the bathroom and then go in and talk to Stevie J. So it was just all dramatic. I don't know, like, really. And have y'all ever noticed how he do his, he clench his mouth together when he get mad? Like, you know he's supposed to take care of that already, right? Like, you know, like, like, we got things to do. We got full of shoots. We got choreographer. Have y'all noticed that he do his lips like that when he get mad? Yeah, it's really not cute. But anyways. Um, but yeah, he talking about they got stuff to do. She got a video shoot. She got photo shoots. All this kind of stuff, whatever. So she should have already took care of that. So basically saying, you shouldn't even have brought this to me. You should have already had an abortion. Um. So, excuse me. I'm brushing off lunch. Um, and Mimi, I don't, I don't get her. I don't, I mean, I have to give her her props though. If Stevie J has been acting like this and been cheating, you know, why not get a percentage? If he going to be dogging you, make sure you get your coins. I mean, I, 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 I can't fault her for that. I, you know, I got to let her have that one. Cause when he came with them couple percent. And she said, no, I know you doing her. I want five from you and I want five from her. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I don't condone, you know, just letting your man do whatever. But I, I guess it depends on your situation. But for her to step in and say, uh-uh, you want to offer me something? No, I don't want no couple, no percent, because a couple for me is two. Two ain't going to get it. I want five from you and five for her. Okay. Then on top of that, then she she go ahead and draw up the paperwork. And say, no, 10 from you and 10 from her. See, I, I, I like Mimi for that. I like her for that. But uh yeah, Stevie, I don't I don't know what to say about him. He got too much going on. And then they done threw Carly Red in the mix. Well, she look kinda old. Or is that just me? But she looks old in the face. I don't know. I don't know. But she talking about she want to get in the studio with Stevie. And she got to have that hit. And for her and Jocelyn to be fussing at the gym. Over who going to work with Stevie when. Like really is it that serious? Because I don't see him on the show working with anybody else. So he clearly has time to play with both of y'all. Because I think that's what it is. Because we have not heard Jocelyn sing. We ain't seen her dance. We She barely can talk. Barely can speak English. So what is what really is her talent? Besides in the bedroom, apparently. Okay. 
So let's move on to Scrappy and Erica. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know about their relationship. I don't. It seems like one of them is not all the way in. Like he came in the apartment or whatever, and she was like, "What do we need to do to move forward?" I thought they was already moving forward. So I don't, I don't know. Then he talking about he need to get his own place. So were they living? Was was he living with her? I don't know, cause he was saying something about I have to tell you everywhere I go, and who I'm going with, and what I'm gonna be doing, and if I don't, you get attitude. So to me, that sounds like he is living with her. I don't know, y'all, y'all let me know on that one. But that's what it seemed like to me, and. If y'all are going to be together and be a family, y'all living together now, why would you switch up, you know, switch up the scenery? I don't understand that. And then for, for Erica to turn around and say, we are better living apart. How does that make sense? Really? Like, if you're dating someone, eventually most people are looking forward to getting married and living together especially if you have children so if now you already see that y'all are better off living apart what does that say about y'all future how are you, if y'all can't live together now how are y'all gonna live together later i really don't the math really ain't ooh, it really ain't adding up for me on that one i don't know um, let's see who else. Came I noticed K Michelle wasn't in this episode. I guess she uh, had done enough in the first episode, I guess. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna like her. She seemed to be pretty real, you know, whatever she thinking, she she just let it rip. So I think I'm gonna like her, you know, pretty well, I think. I think. But yeah, that whole Jocelyn supposed to be pregnant. Or Jose. Jose supposed to be pregnant. Uh, the jury's still out on that one. I need to see her plumbing or something. Shim plumbing. Because I'm just not believing that. That's just not going to... Yeah. I need some... I need some... Um, some notarized documentation. Before I believe that. I need to see a birth certificate. Or... Um, something, yeah. I'm, yeah. I need you to go get to the to the O to the O B G Y N, and I'm need for you to get a film on camera. I'm not trying to say I want to see nobody business, but if you expect me to believe that Shim is pregnant, no, not unless Shim pregnant in the back of that thoke. Cause Shim ain't pregnant nowhere else. I'm sorry. I just no. No, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. But anyways, that's my little recap. If I left out something, charge it to my head, not to my heart. Leave me a message below um, what I missed out on or if I failed to see something. Yeah, leave that. And if you like the video, you want me to continue to do the reviews, uh, click the subscribe, whatever it is. What? whatever go ahead and do that and i will be sure to get back with you guys as soon as possible with the next review so look out for like i said working backwards look out for episode one review so i guess until next time see you guys later bye